The Three Amigos Summit championed the freedom of open borders, inclusion and clean energy. But Barack Obama's address to Parliament was clearly the main event. Here's CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier. An enthusiastic welcome, but is that even surprising? He may still be a controversial figure back home, and he is effectively a lame duck president, but to many Canadians, he is an admired politician with uncanny comic timing. Thank you for this extraordinary welcome, uh, which tempts me to just shut up and leave. Uh, because I can't get any better than this. A 48-minute speech interrupted by roaring applause and standing ovations, Barack Obama was in his element. Canada was the very first country that I visited as president. It was in February. <laughs> it was colder. I was younger. Michelle now refers to my hair as the Great White North. And on that visit, I strolled around uh, the Byward Market, tried a beaver tail, <laughs> which is better than it sounds. But his speech was not all laughs, and the president touched on many uncomfortable issues, from the benefits of free trade to terrorism to the LGBT and Muslim communities, and yes, even a slight dig about Canada's role in NATO. We'll be more secure when every NATO member, including Canada, contributes its full share to our common security. The Canadian Armed Forces are really good. And if I can borrow a phrase, the world needs more Canada. NATO needs more Canada. We need you. We need you. For those 48 minutes in the House of Commons, he was the Barack Obama of the hope and change days, an unapologetic liberal who dares to promise ISIS will be destroyed. We'll work with partners around the world, including particularly Muslim communities, to offer a better vision and a path of development and opportunity and tolerance because they are and must be our partners in this effort. And the president, who will now campaign for Hillary Clinton, had this to say about women's rights. Our work won't be finished until all women in our country are truly equal, paid equally, treated equally. His audience was thrilled. Perhaps many of his statements were self-evident truths, but it was a classic Obama feel-good speech. The House of Commons was full, MPs and senators and guests and foreign dignitaries, but Lisa, Stephen Harper and Thomas Mulcair were not there. A noticeable absence today, but what a powerful speech. Supposed to be 10 minutes, went almost 48. You had a coveted seat. What was it like inside there? Well, what, I was up in the gallery so I could see what was going on down there, and while they were waiting, because there was a long wait, it was they were jittery and excited, and when he came in, it was like a rock star had arrived at the concert and uh, a lot of enthusiasm and it reminded me i covered his his campaign i covered most of his presidency and it reminded me of those first years the enthusiasm in the house today mm -hmm. well we could all feel it just watching thanks for this who knows who will be the next one thanks joyce